I made this VR game in 24 hours. Why? Well, I made a game in one month and two weeks, so I thought this time I should make one in 24 hours. But also, this is a clip of me playing VR for the very first time in a game called Longbow. VR was very different back then. The HTC Vive Pro was released, Google Cardboard was at its peak, there was no Quest headset, and Mark Zuckerberg hadn't renamed the entire company to Meta. I think it's time for my workout. Even then when I first tried VR, it was almost like a surreal experience. It felt real. But after getting the quest and getting used to it, after using it a lot of times, it's never really felt the same from when I first played that game. And I'm sure some of you have felt this way too. So that's why I decided to recreate this game. Let's set some rules. First, I have to be able to export and play the game by the 24 hour mark. Even if that is to compromise time and maybe accidentally keep some game breaking bugs in the game. Rule number two is that I need to add a twist or unique feature to the game. You know, so it's not a complete clone of the original. And rule number three, the game will have to be low poly. So I don't go insane trying to model ultra realistic models, but mostly so I can use poly little pizza. Yes, that's a lot to do in 24 hours, maybe a bit too much, but uh, let's hope it goes well. First thing I need to do is make the bow. As you guys know in my past videos, I use this website called Poly.Pizza and basically I just use this guy's model. This character's pack by Quartin... Quart... Quartinius. But since it's a challenge, I think we should make our own models this time because even if it looks bad, it'll be fine because it's all about learning and improving our skills so that we can become the best. Alright, we have the bow model now. Thanks again, Quartin... So how do we make a bow in VR? Great question. All we need to do is search it up. I found this awesome tutorial by VR Playground. I spent the next hour following it. It's been an hour and we should have a working bow now. Uh, this is not supposed to happen. I proceeded to spend the next 30 minutes trying to fix this by myself and then I realized that the video was outdated, it was 2 years old and I joined the channel's discord server and it was empty. Like this server is people asking for help and they're getting no response. I tried anyways hoping someone would respond. Well I can't just sit here and wait so I decided to start on the environment. In the longbow VR game the environment was pretty simple just some hexagons with different colors. So I decided to make a volcano environment instead with the same thing. I modeled hexagons and then I used an array modifier to line them up. I then rose up the land making walls and I added materials to the hexagons. I then modeled the castle where the player would stand and also where the enemies will attack you instead of a different game like the one in the longbow game. I then added low poly volcanoes all around it from poly.pizza. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't from Quartonius. Wait, he didn't have a volcano model. And while I was doing that, I actually got a message on Discord. Alright, so the guy finally responded. I think I fixed the bow, and it should work now. So if I just click... What? It still doesn't work. At this point, I was tired. So after a long day, I decided to go to bed. Kind of slept in. I actually need to start making this bow mechanic. I tried after tutorial after tutorial, forum after forum. I even resorted to try using ChatGPT, but it didn't even do what it. It just told me what to do. But even though the whole point of AI is I'm not supposed to do. But after hours of trying, I found this tutorial. Okay, this is the third full 30-minute tutorial I've gone through. I hope this one works. Yes! It finally worked! Oh, I should probably fix that. Well, a bow is pretty much useless without the arrow, so again, Quaternarius came in clutch with an arrow mod. Can everyone just spam in the comments, thank you Quaternarius? I mean, he's really saved my game here. And after finishing the bow, I decided to post it on my YouTube community to see what you guys thought of it. I got some nice comments, some weird ones, but also some suggestions. Make replace the arrow with a subway sandwich. Interesting. I mean, I've got to make the game unique somehow. But before I did that, I need to make enemies because it's important we get all the main mechanics first so I don't lose time. 
got a demon model from, again, Quantinarius, and I use a spline to make a path for them. And now they should work. Oh, well, this looks much better now. The paths are a bit messy, so I spent the next 30 minutes tweaking them so they don't look like they're floating. I nearly forgot this one, but luckily I got it in time. I also redid some of the map, like rising the lava, so it looks like actual lava. Even though the demons do follow the slime, I kind of messed up, and the code I used only allowed for one object at a time. So I spent a lot of time on this form online, and this awesome person had a full step-by-step -step instruction. So uh, that's pretty cool. Now we have an army of demons. We can fix this by using a randomized node. It's pretty self-explanatory. It will literally just randomize the amount of demons. That looks much better. With three hours left, I needed to start working quickly so I could export the game in time. Testing the game now, it feels kind of cold, which shouldn't happen because we're in the middle of a volcano. It's supposed to be boiling. So to improve the atmosphere, I added an orange fog and a post-processing volume where I added blue to make the lava glow. And I also increased the temperature to make it feel more hot. To make the actual game loop, I created a widget that displays the castle's health, your amount of kills, and your time. I also made it so the demons could die and hit the castle using its animation. And even though I hadn't finished the game of the state or had it sound effects i thought it'd be fine if i spent the next 30 minutes making the comment i got earlier so we go to subway it's 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 sneak peek sneak peek look at this mess we got the wrap sub although there's no subway pit so all we need to do is grab this texture take it into there go to the arrow this arrow is good but it's just it's just not good enough And now we should have a working sub. Take a look at that. That is beautiful. Look at this beautiful subway sandwich. Can I launch subway sandwiches at these enemies? <laughs> what the hell is that? Is? Oh no way. Yeah, if it's not clear, I think it's, this is making me go insane. I mean, what the hell does pa mean? Like, pa. what am I doing? Why am I saying pa? Why pa. is this even a part of the game? And if you're wondering why it's a Subway sandwich, well, it's because of my other game where I made Subway in VR. Oh, and by the way, I completely scrapped the Subway sandwich anyway. So it was kind of just a waste of time. Because I didn't have that much time, I quickly made it so when you lose all your health, the whole map slows down, and I modeled a button that will come out of the ground that you can press to restart the game. However, because I was rushing, I only realized after I exported it that there was a huge problem with this button. With only one hour left, I quickly downloaded a whole bunch of sound effects for Loading the bow, shooting the bow, background volcano noises, and using the randomized node I used before, I made demons randomly make laughing noises. Uh, well, I made them more random, and it sounds better now. With only 20 minutes left, I tested the game one last time, and it was time to export. At this point, I didn't even know if it would export. It could just crash, and I'm done. It's pretty simple. Go to Windows, Package Project, and it should work now. <laughs> This is, this might take longer than I, than I think. If this export fails, would be a problem. Oh wow, it's a lot of, it's a lot of red, it's a lot of red is What? Mm, missing something. That's, that's not good. Uh, uh, please work, please, 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 please work. Oh. Oh my god. Wait. Wait, what? That is not good. Huh? Probably, need a, probably need to fix that. Uh, is, there any, is there any exit code? Come on. Wait, actually, if this doesn't work, I'm actually... Why does this take so long? Unknown cook failure. What does that mean? Warning, warning, warning. Lots of warnings. Okay, I think I might have fixed it. I think I might have fixed it. <gasps> oh my god. It worked. It might have worked, but the file could still be corrupted. So, uh, there's only one way to find out if this works. Alright guys, I'm in the headset. See we're connected. Now all we need to do is run this. And if it works, then I've completed the challenge. 
If it doesn't, and then I failed it. Let's see. Please. I'm gonna go away at sunshine. This one's right. Oh! It works. Yes! Got a bow and arrow. Oh, there's actually a lot. Oh my. Okay, that was uh. Was that? What did we I had finally finished the challenge. The whole reason to do this was mainly because of my first experience in VR. That first time wonder was maybe irreplaceable, but I've created something new, something that carried its own problems and victories. And now that I actually think about it, maybe that was an experience of its own. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.